Man, so right now, this morning, I got some running around I have to do. I have to go pick up some supplies for the Boosted Boys EK hat. That car is going to be the focus of this video. That's all we are going to work on in this video. I want to make sure a lot of stuff gets done. I'm going to be experimenting with a few different techniques that I have never messed with before. And I'm going to be showing you everything along the way. So right now, I'm on my way to the paint store. Then I'm going to be going over to Harbor Freight and eventually making my way back to the shop. And now, you're watching the oh-so-unfortunate mishap that turns into a shower drain waffle stomp channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thanks so much for joining me yet again on another video. So we just pulled up to the paint store. I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into it, get started, and make some really good progress today. Alright, so... I got exactly what we needed. These guys over here are really good. I called them up because I didn't know if they sold this particular product. They ordered it for me. I didn't need a whole gallon. I got me a quart. That's gonna be perfect. Garbage. Good old Harbor Freight. Let's see if they got some cheap junk for us. They always do, right? And just like that, I got exactly what we needed. I'll, uh, I'll explain to you what I got once we get back to the shop. All right, so here we are back at the shop. We got what we needed. I'm not going to get into it that much, but here we go. This is the gun that I picked up. This does have a 2.0 fluid tip so that's what I needed we'll have to see how it works so that's good that's what we got also even though this is a cheap setup I still wanted to do my due diligence to make sure that I'm doing stuff properly so we got an inline filter for it and we also got a pressure regulator for it so overall Harbor Freight to get a brand new paint gun I spent $40 and this feather fill this is a polyester primer, and you actually reduce this 2% by weight, so I'm going to have to mix this up on a scale. Everybody has a digital scale, right? Everybody got a digital scale? Rick Ross got a digital scale. So really quickly here, one thing that I wanted to show you is a way that this trim up top, you're going to want that trim off of the car so you can try to fight it and tape it and whatnot, but sometimes I found, I think this is an aftermarket trim piece, some of the OEM ones you cannot do this, so it really is just going to vary by your car, but what I go ahead and do is I just ran paint sticks right along this edge so that way that trim piece is lifted way beyond where it lays and you're going to want to get paint way underneath there or the idea is you want to get paint further than where the trim lays down obviously unless you remove the windshield which would be ideal but that doesn't always happen
get into actually laying down the primer, I wanted to mention a few things. So the gun that I picked up from Harbor Freight had the correct fluid tip size that I wanted, which is a 2.0. It's going to be big enough to spray that thick primer through the paint gun but also it's a siphon fed paint gun and that's a little bit more old school. Now I have some mixed thoughts about that spray gun because usually with that style of paint gun being siphon fed, there's a tube that goes into where your fluid is at and you usually have to keep the paint gun upright in order for it to be sucking fluid continuously. I'm a little bit worried that as I'm painting my roof, I'm just going to be picking up air instead of primer like I would be hoping to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the siphon fed gun with the 2.0 and if that doesn't work out, I'm just going to be switching to my more modern style paint gun which has a smaller spray tip. So I'm doing a little bit of experiment old school with the correct tip or newer more modern with a smaller tip obviously the best way is going to be a modern gun with the correct tip but with what they had in stock at the store i wasn't able to get my hands on that i could have waited a few days but i wanted to just get this going and ultimately it doesn't really matter with primer it's going to be all sanded down anyways all right so i have exactly 12.0 ounces now i just have to add two percent of that to that in order to reduce it by 2%. 12.1, 12.2, and then now here we go, we gotta just try to get, that's 12.2 something. So suspicion of the siphon gun not really working out too well because I was spraying fluid on a flat surface. I just kept sucking up air, which is no problem whatsoever. I just grabbed my old spray gun, which is now kind of a primer gun. I don't want to run any of this really thick, nasty primer through my really high-end paint gun. Now the only problem with this, because my primer is or was so thick, I had to keep the pattern really tight and go really slowly. Now I'm just going to sand down the roof i'll probably sand it down with a 180 and then after it's sanded down i'll come back with two coats of primer just over reduced just a little bit so that way i can spray it out a little bit smoother it'll lay out nicer and i can just do one coat wait a minute then do another coat after that so in the end i will still have a nice thick layer of primer to work with to smooth out this wavy roof So after using our $20 paint gun, our Harbor Freight paint gun, and then the more modern paint gun with the incorrect tip size, did the Harbor Freight paint gun ruin this paint job? No. So would I recommend using that paint gun? Probably not. But I don't know if the problem is that it's from Harbor Freight more so than that it's a siphon fed gun as opposed to the more modern style that I'm used to using. You could tell from those last few clips how really nicely it went down like in the most recent clip but then a couple clips back when I was trying to mess with the siphon fed gun it just was a mess. So overall I'd recommend if you're in my type of situation where it's hard to find the correct tip just over reduce it a little bit 
and then it's going to work out just fine. So right now, I'm rubbing guide coat on the entire roof. This is going to remain this dark gray, black color anywhere where we still have low spots. I'm gonna go ahead and have to block out the whole thing for us to see. So this is where I'm going to start refining all those small dents on the roof. If it's still a little wavy because of how soft it is, it is what it is. The only other thing that I'd recommend is reinforcing it underneath, but I can't get the headliner around and the roll cage, and there's just a bunch of factors. Hopefully we could just block out everything smooth and we don't have to do much more body work on the roof, and then we can just move on with the rest of the car. So, really quickly, I just checked my subscriber count and I am so close to 100,000. I know with this video going live and the amount of you that are watching that are not subscribed, we can easily get to 100,000 by the time my next video goes live. So, talking about the car, talking about the roof, I'm using my two foot block because of those, those really wide sections that are pretty low. I want my block to be able to touch straight metal on one side, straight metal on the other side and the low spot to be somewhere in here. If I was using a smaller block, I wouldn't be able to touch solid ground to the left of my body filler and to the right of my body filler. So an area like this, my two foot block is uh, my weapon of choice. So as far as the hatch goes, this door right here is a better representation of what's going to happen on the entire car. So since I think I'm about done with body work, I'm going to go ahead and run a filler primer throughout the entire car. Now the filler primer is going to fill in a lot of those small scratches and maybe some of those microscopic dents and dings and then I'm going to block off that filler primer just like this door right here. So the whole entire car is one step behind that door. So the next thing I'm going to do is prime everything. So now the door will still continue to be a step ahead because I'm going to want to block out that filler primer maybe two times with a guide coat just to make sure 
the panels are as straight as possible. Now with a lot of cars, like drag cars and drift cars and race cars especially, where they don't really care about the aesthetic and overall look of the car, they'll pull it in, they'll scuff it, they'll respray it, and it looks really good and they'll send it on its way. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to make the body as straight as possible, almost like a show car style. That's the way that I want all of my paint jobs to be. That's why I take a little bit of time and that's why I spend so long making sure everything looks good and in reality the car hasn't changed too much in the last couple of I guess about the last week or so it's really kind of looked similar although that surface has just been getting straighter and straighter and straighter the more that I am working it so that car that's the next step also something this is being picked up from my last video I just ordered this inline fuse so I'm going to go throw that in my Acura TL daily a lot of you guys suggested that I needed a fuse closer to the battery and of course that makes sense so that way the wire running through the entire car if anything were to happen to it it wouldn't start a fire I just wasn't thinking about it as I was doing the install so thanks for suggesting that I got that right here in the next video we're going to go for primer and then once the primer is done and I'm done spraying any primer we are going to focus on the inside of the car the entire inside of the car is going to be painted so that's coming as well hit subscribe like I mentioned a little bit ago I want to get over a hundred K by the time the next video comes out and I know we can do it so thank you guys so much for watching like this video comment subscribe do all the stuff you know it is YouTube I'll see you on that next one I'm gonna see you for sure I'm out